Good morning, we're back at it again. It's Tuesday, I'm feeling great. Man, I can't express to you how much better it feels to work out in the morning versus going at night or in the evening after work or whatever at the end of the day. Uh, I, I feel great, it's, it's so much better. Um, again, gym was empty as always. I'm gonna be doing these videos every single day, so look out in the morning. Uh, you know, I'm posting this today, so I'm gonna keep that up, even on the weekends, do, our, do my best. But yeah, so, the the reason i enjoy doing the gym in the morning is you know we tend to leave things the hardest things that we need to do we tend to leave them for the end which is procrastination right so there's something that you really need to take care of really need to knock out you go to work you go to school you run your business whatever it is that you do and you don't you leave it for the end for the end of the day you're just delaying what's going to build you what's going to teach you something that day and it's just, it's a whole, I, I feel totally different, right? I feel totally different throughout the day, uh, doing what's hard first, which is the gym, but it actually feels good. But when you start, you know, you're cold, you, you don't feel right. Um, but it, it feels so much better. I had so much more energy yesterday, all throughout the day, just from freaking working out in the morning. So if you do what's hard first, your day will be easy. It's kind of like that quote that, that I've heard before that says, if you do what's easy, your life will be hard. Well, if you do what's hard first, your day will be easy. And I really believe in that because I, I feel phenomenal. And, uh, you know, and something that I was talking about yesterday with a friend of mine is we, it's disrespectful, you know. We need to stop disrespecting ourselves, disrespecting the universe, dis disrespecting all our ancestors um, by being lazy, by delaying the hard things that we got to do. Whether it's waking up in the morning, um, pushing in life, um, going to the gym, we see what we want to see, we hear what we want to hear, and, and in the end we do what we want to do. So we have a bias towards um, everything we look at. And just because we see what we want to see doesn't mean it make it it's right, okay? So we can't be led by what feels easy for our emotions because usually that's the easy route and it only uh, leads to weakness. But it's disrespectful for everyone that, be that came before you that sacrificed for you to be here today. Um, and I put a quote on Instagram the other day. It was, I was saying that it's disrespectful to the universe just to exist, to waste oxygen, to take up space on this planet and just do just enough. When the world has a bunch of people doing that just enough, they hide behind their average and mediocre routines. They express how they don't have time to go to the gym. And I only work out for 30, 35 minutes a day. And my physique is just changing by the week. Um, but those 30 minutes or 35 minutes, I'm going really hard. And it's disrespectful, you know, for a person to live their entire life and not build the best version of themselves. You know, it's that's true selfish, selfishness. I know sometimes I probably post, I make videos on Instagram, I post a lot. And people probably see uh, my posts and think, oh, look at him, who do you think he is? You know, he needs to be more humble. He's, he's you know, he's prideful. He's posting and... and without a shirt on or, or in a car or whatever it might be. And to me, we're lighthouses. If the selfish thing is to have knowledge or an ability or be blessed and not to give it to the world, not share it and touch other people. Who are the, who are the real selfish ones? The ones that share knowledge, that are positive and share a positive outlook on life and share their blessings or the ones that don't post at all? Those are the selfish ones. The ones that do just enough, save every single dollar, um, they don't really do anything, just enough to survive. They don't post nothing. They don't wanna excel in anything in life. And typically people that are scared to excel, scared to take on challenges or be better, um, they're lazy and they hide behind, oh, well, this could happen, that could happen. I could hurt myself at the gym or I might start that business, it might fail. And they hide behind all that and they do what is safe. They do what takes a long time. They don't do anything. And it's because they're scared and because they're lazy. But um, lighthouses, you know what they do is they keep the ships from wrecking on the rocks, okay? So we're human lighthouses. The people that actually share knowledge, that actually go out of their way to be the best version of themselves. To me, I think we're human lighthouses. We keep people that are in the dark. We show them the way for that they don't crash on the rocks. It's so easy, it's so simple. And there's nothing selfish about that. So if you, you know, you're good at something or, you know, you're into fitness, whatever it is, you know, you 
don't bury the blessing. You need to help other people, share some knowledge. And like I said in another the other video yesterday, that's how you a success should be measured by. How, how you touch the souls of other people on this planet, how you help people, if you, did you leave it a better planet? Or did, like when you're not here no more, will you be gone without a trace? And that's uh, something that I was speaking about yesterday with my good friend. And you know, don't be, uh, the, the world has enough um, uh, 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 humble people. There, you don't have to be humble. You can be humble and still be ambitious. You can still be positive. You can still uh, be caring and, and all that good stuff and be a good person. Uh, it's like I said, it's just a waste of oxygen. And it sounds kind of crazy to say that, but what are we doing? You know, what are you doing? Every single day, waking up, doing the same exact thing. You know how hard you're trying in life. You know how hard you're lifting them weights. You know how hard you're dieting. You know how hard you're, you're building the best life that you can have. Some of you guys are barely even trying 25% in all aspects, in your relationships, in your health, in your fitness, and in, in your finances, uh, everything you do. And you compare yourself to average people. So like your 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 success and your wins look phenomenal. But if you surround if a if a giant surrounds himself with little kids, how tall is he compared to who? And that's typically what people do. They want to be the big fish in the tank. And you don't want to be the big fish in the tank. You want to be the little fish in the tank. You want to surround yourself with people that are better than you, not people that are uh, that you're better than them, for that you can feel better about your 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 efforts. And I'm not pointing out anything uh, peculiar. I'm just these are things that go through my mind, through my life, and I've caught myself. We get complacent and, and we don't do what we need to do, you know. And it's disrespectful to your kids. It's disrespectful to their kids that are going to come eventually uh, for you not to put them on a trajectory of success. You know, if you just keep your kids alive, you don't teach them the lessons that they need to know. Uh, you don't help them. That's not gonna do, you're not doing anything. They're gonna have to fight the battle. So the battles that you delay, your children uh, are gonna have to fight them. Someone's gotta dig the family out of the hole. So that's the way it works. Um, and if you keep choosing comfort, you're just gonna delay the pain. And the pain will manifest itself in the form of uh, uh, physical uh, illnesses, you know, your health, your finances, or you'll have problems in your relationship 15, 20 years later. So you, what you might think is the easy route right now is really not. You're just delaying the, the punishment. So I'd rather take the pain now, get healthy, get fit, take the risk now. Because in the end, like I said, we're all going to face, uh, uh, face the same faith. But take the risk now. Don't delay the pain because it's inevitable. And you're going to face it. You might not face it for 20 years, but you're going to face it from year 20 and on. I want to face it, and I've faced it already, believe me failures and business and all kinds of things um and i've had successes but you're writing your story you're writing your book so take the time to do it stop living in fear because in the end we're all gonna be buried on the ground and it's about what you do but uh, a little bumpy road here um yeah so be that lighthouse change the world go get in the gym go get jacks and change your life man do something do something be different stop fitting in and make the effort be, be that lighthouse